Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Again, want to thank all the new subscribers, everyone that's uh, hitting that thumbs up button, the like button. It's really helping get the word out about cryptocurrencies, precious metals, especially silver, and what's happening in our economy right now and how to prepare, how you can actually prepare not only your finances, but really your mind and your family for what is literally happening right now. Not when, because remember, the when is when the stupid people, the stupid money goes running to the bank to pull it out. It's happening right now. Okay, that's how collapses happen. Mortgage crisis didn't happen in 08, it actually happened in late 05 to early 06. I wanna talk about something that we've been talking about on this channel that so many of you guys have been uh, just smashing the like button on, but also been diving into the, the information I brought you on the Mike Maloney series, um, uh, the video series. It's called Hidden Secrets of Money if you're new to the channel. And I tell people that if you watch that, and it's like 10 or 14 episodes, something like that, uh, about 35 to 45 minutes each, that it will absolutely not only change your life, it will literally change your paradigm, but you will literally walk away after that series, instead of watching Friends or watching a movie on Netflix, it will literally, you will walk away with more education when it comes to economics than a Harvard economics graduate. I've, as a matter of fact, I've had people from this channel actually say that exact thing, that they have their degree in economics and they, they knew about 90%, but that other 10% or, or they knew 50% and that other 50% that they didn't know completely blew their minds. And what they realized is that, not that they were brainwashed, but they were literally led down one path. And it was the path of how things are, not how things work in the background. And that's what's very important. I don't care if you want to be an economics uh, major. I think if you are, that's awesome. And if you're on channels like this, well, we need economists that are watching for truth, that want truth, right? Because then they can tell others the truth. Um, but this goes to go for, um, you know, anybody that a stay at home parent or a, um, you know, your, your, your blue collar employee. I don't care what lot of in life you are right now. You need to know the truth because when you know the truth, you know how to avoid the bad things, right? So I want to talk about this. So the, the hidden secrets of money. I was talking to a friend of mine and um, I'm sure he won't mind me sharing this, but he watched episode one. He actually convinced his wife to watch episode one with him. And it ironically led to arguments um, because he has been talking about the inner workings of the Federal Reserve and money printing and why they need to do something a specific way. And there's obviously been tension there, right? Because I had another friend tell me once when he bought a roll of silver uh, coins, his wife said, I think I've told you guys this, why you are literally throwing money away. And, and the reason why they say that is because they have literally no clue of reality. Those same people will buy gold and silver jewelry and pay 400% markup because it's a piece of jewelry rather than pay one quarter the price for the actual metal, right? And, um, and so he, he talked about this one and he said it sort of led to some, some disagreements. Um, but what I, I was explaining to him, and I wanna explain this to you, all of you. When you take in knowledge like that, Mike Maloney's series on hidden secrets of uh, money, what ha it, it changes you because in your gut you know the truth but truth is hurt, is painful. It's painful to learn the truth. It's like being self having a self-reflective moment about yourself and who you really are. It's no fun, right? But until you go to that moment and you learn the deep down dark secrets of yourself, and it sounds funny, <laughs> most people don't even know themselves, right? Because we spend more time on social media trying to pretend we're something we're not. And we end up getting a completely uh, skewed view of not only this world, but our own lives. And so uh, I asked a couple weeks later, I said, hey, have you had a chance to watch you know, video two? And he goes, no, I'm going to do it. And I said, your wife doesn't want to. And, and, and he'd said, no, I, I, I wanted to the other night. And I brought it up. And, and you know, she was like, I'm just tired. I want to watch a movie. Now, true story, guys. The ninja's wife has said that many times. When I was going through this uh, self-awakening period uh, well over 10 years ago, um, you know, I might have known about the real estate bubble and the dot-com bubble, but I didn't understand the currency bubble. I did not understand anything about that. I didn't know anything about fiat currency, the difference between that and real money. So, you know, 12 years ago, I think it was, I started really diving in deep. Now, I'm not joking. I gave him this honest advice. Don't do it. Don't watch that video by yourself. He said, why? I said, look, you already have the fundamental knowledge that something's wrong and you're doing something about it. You're trying to. The problem is if you go deeper and you learn more, 
those arguments intensify. And I know this might sound like some whacked out advice, but there is something about knowing that there's something going on in the background. And then there's something about when you know, not only it is definitely going on, but how it's going on. And then your whole paradigm is, you can't think of anything else. I'm not joking. Like it changes your life. And that honestly can add some stress. So you need to look for ways to gently get there. And I think one thing that a lot of couples are dealing with right now, where one is totally into this stuff, and I know I'm speaking to a handful of you guys right now, um, where one person is totally, you know, understanding the paradigm that, that, that they, they weren't a part of, the shift that they went through in sound money, real money, you know, in what inflation is, how it's gonna be worse in the future because of out of control money spending, right? You have to get there together and you have to figure out ways of patiently bringing someone to that point because all of us were in that point at one time of our life. Just so you know, I gave the analogy, this is gonna be a bad analogy, but I'm just gonna say it. I don't care if you're born with a silver coin in places it shouldn't be. You don't know everything, okay? You know, cause I, I've heard that from people. I've been buying gold and silver since I was five, or I was 10 or before I paid taxes or, you know, and I, or I've been doing it for 20 years. I, I'm good, we're good. And I go, you know, there's a lot of people with a lot of, you know, baseline knowledge and what happens is uh, they're missing out on something else. Like I've told you guys before in the precious metals community, you're literally missing out on what the blockchain is. I'm sorry, you just are. Like, get that through. Like, I hope it pisses you off and you go do something about it. Because once you understand what a true decentralized blockchain is, how they can't fake it, they can't make another Bitcoin, you're going to start going, oh, I see why they're going to use that. And just so you know, they, that ain't central bankers, they don't want to use that, just so you know. But that's why there's a lot of people that are interested in it, okay? And then you could also use that to buy precious metals. But, um, you know, I, I really think that people are missing the boat when it comes to that because they have a baseline of knowledge and they don't understand that there's also something else going on over here too. And then there's something going on over here. And uh, and anyway, so I'm, I'm going off on a little bit of a tangent, but you have to figure out how to get there together. Don't sky ahead because, and take this from me, Mrs. Ninja would tell you all the time, you know, she was getting sick and tired of that. I told you so's or the, come on, we got to do this. We got to do this, you know? So, so try and get there together. You know what I mean? Don't go too far ahead. You already have that baseline knowledge that there's something going on. Try and learn together. Or what I did was I said, how about you read this book? I read this book to my wife and then we come together and we share what we learned. They're different books. So now each of us gets the opportunity to teach the other and feel good about our knowledge, right? And then, and then the other person gets to glean from that knowledge. So that, that did help me. All right, here we go. This is, this is just a fact. JP Morgan, September 2020, settled a record lawsuit that had never been this big. Settled for $920 million for spoofing, spoofing the precious metals markets. I love how they give these little names, hey, spoofing. No, they're lying, cheating, and stealing. That is exactly what they're doing. And they paid off, probably friends of theirs, the SEC. So they, this is how this is how it works, just so you guys know. They settled because they didn't want that lawsuit going any more into the media. Because then it's searchable. When you go into a full trial, everything that comes out, all the proof is right out there for everyone to see. So you buy people off. And just so you know, that's a joke compared to what they made. Okay? They illegally naked short the market and they dump these naked short shares onto the market to make people scared. This is what they do in Bitcoin too. You know, you, I, you can't manipulate the Bitcoin markets except for you can manipulate fools. Just, you know, this is how they do it. It's, it's, it's unbelievable to me. A whale will pop on to an exchange with like, let's say a thousand Bitcoin. And they put a couple news stories out real quick. And this is, I guarantee you, this is on purpose. Big whale jumps on Coinbase with a thousand Bitcoin, ready to sell at any moment. And literally morons go, I better sell my Bitcoin because he's going to sell his. And then that, that account, because we could actually see the truth because the blockchain is a truth machine, that we could see that account. Yep, it went into Coinbase. And then the, the damage is already done. Bitcoin went down. Did, did they sell their Bitcoin? No. They moved it right back into a wallet. It's crazy. Yes, anything is manipulatable. But just so you know, the only people that are manipulatable are fools. I'm, I'm honest. We see that all the time. Stock market crashes, takes out 20% in a month. You know, it goes through a correction cycle and it comes right back up. 
the smart people were buying. So I just want you, this isn't in, you know, investment advice, this is just life advice. You're all, you're all waking up, you're understanding, or maybe you come from a, a deep background of, of understanding, right? Um, there's always more to learn. That's the biggest thing that we need to take from this. There's always more to learn. So I hope this made sense to you guys. I know I, I ramble, but yeah, it is what it is, right? All right, guys, with that being said, thank you again to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the new patrons. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to slow this down because uh, there's a lot of questions on that channel. So thank you so much for that. We will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.